Lonzo Ball is a tricky one, y'all. Um, he's had a tumultuous career, better yet, stint with the Chicago Bulls. I want to talk about where did we go from here with Lonzo Ball. But first, man, we appreciate you guys. You guys been killing it. We at 6,131. Oh, my God, y'all been killing it. If we can get to 6,200, 6,200, man, y'all is the best. Y'all goaded. Enjoy your 4th of July. Now, Lonzo Ball, man. UCLA, let's start there. Shout out to Jay Main. Let's start there. Lonzo Ball played one freshman season at UCLA. He absolutely was a spark plug for the entire genre of basketball. He had the college and just basketball enthusiasts when it comes to basketball going crazy with his passing, his defense, and scoring in a very in a varied amount of ways in college had everybody curious to what he can do in the NBA. Lonzo Ball absolutely tore up the college basketball scene, ultimately losing in the NCAA tournament, I think, to Kentucky, I think, to De'Aaron Fox and them. Y'all let me know in the comments uh, who did they lose to in the NCAA tournament. I'm doing this right off the head. Then we get drafted to L.A. L.A. Lakers, Magic Johnson pulled the trigger. And drafted Lonzo Ball. He said he was going to be the next number retired and put in the rafters. That summer league was incredible for Lonzo Ball. Him, Julius Randle, Cal Kuzma. It was a show in summer league, MEA summer league. It was lit. Then he got to the Lakers team and he had a tough time because his daddy was talking all that trash. Patrick Beverly introduced him to the league. It was tough early. But then he started getting a rhythm. He started getting the rhythm. Ultimately, a couple years down the road, LeBron James came. He started to get his stride. He was maturing in the league. But Lonzo got injured, bro. Lonzo got injured. I think he had a knee injury. And he got traded to the Pelicans, bro. And this is when his when his game took a a different went on a whole different level. That three point shot changed his form, got a more traditional uh, form of shooting. He started being more efficient from the three point line. He always had his elite playmaking. He always had his elite defensive IQ. He always had his elite offensive IQ. But he learned how to shoot in New Orleans. Plus, he had some fabulous athletes over there in Brandon Ingham and especially Zion Williamson. This was a fun team to watch, the New Orleans Pelicans. It was fun, bro. But ultimately, they chose to go on a new route and traded him to us, the Chicago Bulls. We were so excited, bro. We were so excited. AK, you the best GM in the world. How did you pull this off? And how did it, how did it look? It looked fantastic. Lonzo Ball was the linchpin for this Chicago team, bro. Making plays. He made Zach and DeMar DeRozan work. He made it work. Without him, it looks like it does it looked like it should never happen. Lonzo Ball defense with Alice Caruso combined on the court was was like Mona Lisa. It was beauty and art to watch. Him and Alex Caruso on the floor together playing defense. He had the Chicago Bulls in the number one seed, y'all. Number one seed, bro. And 
damn, my boy got injured, bro. He got injured, bro. He ain't got injured, but it was like a long-standing injury that eventually it was going to happen. It was wear and tear. This man ain't had no cartilage in his knee. None. They didn't even find out till, er, what, mid last year. To how to diagnose this. With the weirdest surgery ever. He has cartilage from a dead guy in his body. My man Drip, shout out to Drip, Chicago Bulls Central. He called him the walking dead. It was funny as hell. Funny and Drew. What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do if Alice, if, if Lonzo Ball is ready to play after missing two and a half years? What is he supposed to do? Hope was he supposed to give him a chance and see if he can come back and get to some semblance of what he used to be? Or should we just cut base with the guy? Just cut him. Hook, line, and sinker. Get out of here, Lonzo. You can't help us. I don't know what I think. I think we should try. I think we should try to give him a half a season. Kind of like the same with Zach, but in a different reasoning. Zach should be able to play a half a season just to see, just to let everybody know he still can hoop. That's Zach. Lonzo, we should see if Lonzo could hoop for half a season. I think we owe it to ourselves. We paid him 50 mil. He missed the last couple seasons. That's 50 mil easy money he put in his pocket. We're having to do no work. Well, he did some work. He was trying to get back to the court. But he got $50 million basically free. Should we try to get at least something in return in our investment? Because we just blew 50 mil. Plus, if he's right, that does who knows what that can mean to, to our basketball team. Now, Lonzo Ball, you know, he like to drop these videos every now and then to show everybody that, that he working and he, and he want to get back to the league. Smiling and everything. He look more active. He moving around. Look, look, look at Lonzo. Look at Lonzo. Look at that. He ready to get back to it, y'all. His movement look crisp. What were we supposed to say? Jump a little clean. What were we supposed to say, bro? Is it fair to us as Chicago Bulls fans who also have a sub fanmanship for Lonzo Ball to want to see and try if he can get to a semblance of himself? No, it's not bad. But I understand the other side of the fence. We have wasted two and a half years. It's time to lose the dead weight. But my retort will be, we do not know if he's dead weight yet. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all punch that subscribe button. We trying to get to 6,200. Y'all been killing it. I'll see y'all on the next one for sure.